Hi, this is JJ for Orange Wedding Films, and I just finished the Cineve Atlas FLT slider review, really quick review, and I'm in the mode for another quick review for the the monopod that I use a lot. So I own two monopod. One of them is a Manfrotto. Um, so the exact name is Manfrotto 561B HDB. So this one is really popular and if you don't own one, for God's sake, go out and get one because this is an awesome tool that you can do. So many people mention about this, like almost most of the event filmmaker that I know mention about this monopod, which is awesome. So this is one of the greatest things. Um, the head is very smooth, the fluid head. And the, one of the biggest thing is probably this legs that helps a lot. So I think a couple of me people mentioned and you probably notice if you use a lot that it tend to pop sometime. So one thing I did, and I know that one of the strongest point about this leg is that you, if you balance it well with your camera, you can actually leave it there and it will stand alone, which I'll personally will never do. Um, but when you do some movement with this monopod, if the ball is really tight on the bottom of the leg, um, you'll feel that little pop. It's hard to describe, but you'll feel that little pop. So one thing I did is I actually loosened up the, the leg a little bit so it's not as um, tight as it came out with. So when I lose this, I also lo lose that pop when you move your uh, monopod in the wider range. So that's why I little did. my little tip was to unscrew this uh, little bolt here and it will become more loose. I wouldn't loosen up too much because it might come off it might you might you lose the um, the nut and bolt so I wouldn't lose it too much but just the, like a half circle a half round or so is just enough so that it doesn't stick I think it gets stuck a little bit the ball gets stuck and the leg get a little stiff so I'll lose that that's what I did for my solution so another monopod that I use a lot is the secular zoom system. So some of you have seen, but this zoom system, what it does is that it has a tripod and then I can stick this into the, the hole in the tripod and it becomes the, this monopod becomes the head and the centerpiece of the monopod, uh, the tripod, excuse me. So the one thing I really like about all the secular tripod that I own and the, the zoom system is the one stop system. So instead of three stops or two stops like some other Manfrotto monopod or some other secular tri uh, tripod, this one is just one stop. It's always one click to adjust really quick. So as my all my tripod is one thing that's one thing that's really important for me to have is the one stop. Um, so this one is great. It's one stop. I love the secular head so much that you know the majority of the tripod has is the stackler and it's also touch and go play system that I like about a lot and but the one cons about this monopod is that this there's no leg it's round we can still have this little thing can you see this that little thing that comes out that you, you put your feet on your foot on there so you'll be you won't move around too much but again this is not a three you know there's no three leg that hold it a little tighter so that's the only thing and also it's it's bulky it's, it's huge right um, also it doesn't go as low as the Manfrotto ones so you don't get that lower angle so I actually personally prefer that monopod over this but my second shooter has to use that monopod so I usually stuck with this but I also like to carry this one and my tripod leg at, uh, together so that's why I use this monopod and hope that helps thanks for watching